What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to connect the FR Sky R9 SIM Plus to the Flight One Revolt OSD board. Let's get right to it. All right, so if you have a Tyrannus, you're gonna make sure you have the OpenTX 2.2.2 firmware. And if you have a Horus X10, you're gonna have to have the FR OS 1.2.05. If you have the X12, you're gonna need the 1.5.05 or greater. Along with the receiver comes two cable harnesses. One that says connection two, one that says connection one. Depending on what you're running, whether you're using PPM or SBUS, depends on what cable harness you're gonna use. If you're using PPM, you're gonna be using harness number two, and you're gonna connect it in the back and set up all your channels through there. If you're gonna be running SBUS, you're gonna be using cable one, or connection one as they wrote, or whatever con one means, and you're gonna connect it to the to the port that says A on it, or the, or the one that has VCC on it. Since I'm using SBUS, I'm gonna take the cable harness one, and I'm going to connect it to side A of the receiver. All right, here's the Revo OSD board, and the first pads we're gonna be soldering is the inversion pads. Uh, the FR Sky protocol is usually inverted at the outputs, so we gotta let the flight controller know that we're gonna be sending in a signal inverted or whatever. So get some flux on your soldering iron and just bridge the bottom pin or the bottom pad with the middle pad. Now there's two ways you can connect your receiver. You can either use the JST plug and connect it directly to the board real fast and easy, plug and play, or you can use these pads right here to solder them on. Now if you decided to direct solder the wires on, what we're gonna basically need is just four wires. We're gonna need the VCC, the power, we're gonna need the S port, we're gonna need the S bus out, and the ground wire. So we're gonna look for the power wire the vcc wire and we're going to direct solder it to the 5 volt pad right here all right the next wire we're going to be soldering is the s port wire now in my case it, as you can see it's purple but in your case your wire is going to come with a green wire for the s port i actually replaced mine and i added this little jst connector right here so i can just basically plug and play into these ports right here in the bottom below the on the other side of the board so I'm just gonna just plug them in and make it easy. But if you're gonna be direct soldering it, you're gonna have to direct solder it to, you're gonna grab the, the green one in your case, and you're gonna be direct soldering it to the TX4 pad right here. Remember, we're gonna have to reinvert the signal. So again, just like the TX1 that we ended up um, bridging the two pads to give it the inverted signal we're gonna do the same thing for the TX4 pad and just we're gonna invert it bridge the two pads and give it an inverted signal All right, next up is your signal wire and we're gonna be using the S bus out cable, which is the gray one, the, the gray wire, and we're gonna be soldering it to the TX1 pad right here. Of course, you're not, you don't need to do any of this if you just plan on using the JST connector. All right, so, so far we've done the five volt, which is the VCC, we've done the S port, we've done our signal wire, last we got the ground. So we're just gonna take the ground wire and solder it right to the ground pad right here. Now the cool thing about Flight One is that they sent you this little package with all these cable harnesses. One you can use to connect the camera, the other one you can use to connect your uh, Crossfire Unify VTX, and this cable right here, which I'm gonna be using for a for our receiver. All right, so the original harness has four wires. As you can see, there's only three wires on this one, and that's because I pulled out the yellow wire. I'm not gonna be utilizing it, so I decided just to pull it out. 
when you connect the JST connector, you'll notice that every wire is basically in the right spot that we need it, except the TX4 pad. Um, we have the signal wire right here. We've got the five volt, also known as the VCC right here and the ground pad. I took the green wire and I soldered it to the gray wire on the cable harness of the receiver, which was the S-Bus out. Next, I took the black wire of the cable harness that came with the Flight 1 and I wired that or I soldered it to the black wire of the receiver. So that was pretty easy. It's just black to black. And it's going to be basically the same thing with the 5 volt. The red one is just going to be the red one to the red one of the receiver. All right, now finally we have the TX4 pad, which is gonna be your S port. And what I did was take a spare uh, JST connector that I had that fits the same size and change the wire. And I just added a JST connector to, to the other side where, so it can be uh, just easy for me just to plug it in. If you don't have a spare JST connector, you can go to like race day quads and buy a custom harness. It's not that expensive. Or if you're just in a hurry, you can just direct solder it to the TX4 pad. So now all I have to do is plug in this JST connector and my S port is ready to go. All right, from here, we're gonna take the cable harness, plug it into side A of the receiver, and we're gonna get our Tyrannus and start creating a model and binding the receiver. All right, go to your Tyrannus, find an empty slot and create a new model. Select quad, we're gonna page, 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 page. Long press confirm, the enter button, and your model selected, it's created. I mean, from here, we're gonna name it. This is my sunshine build. So I'm gonna just gonna write sun for now to save some time. And we're gonna go, we're gonna start scrolling down. We're gonna scroll down until we see internal module or internal RF and we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna turn on the external RF. We're gonna scroll until we find R9M, let's press enter. And then from here, we're gonna select FCC. If you're in Europe, you gotta select LBT, but it says I'm in America, FCC it is. I'm gonna go down to the channels and I'm gonna select a channel since I don't need that much on this build. From here, we're gonna select the bind button or the option and we're gonna press enter. All right, next I'm gonna select uh, telemetry on, on from one through eight channels, but if you selected eight 16 channels, select the telemetry on for the 16 channels. Next, your Tyrannus will start chirping. And what we're gonna do is grab the receiver and we're gonna be pressing and holding the bind button while we power up the quad. So we're gonna press and hold and then take your battery and plug it into the quad while you're holding the button. Had to do it off camera, but when you do it right, you'll get the two blinking lights. From here, all you have to do is wait a few seconds and unplug the quad. So take off the battery and then go to your Tyrannus and turn off the bind button. All we gotta do now is just test it. We're gonna turn off the radio, plug it back on or turn it back on and plug in our quad. If you did it right, you'll get a green solid light and boom. All right, so open up the Flight One software. If you haven't done so already, go to flightone.com, click downloads and download the software. And from here, we're gonna be plugging in your quad. So I'm getting this error right here because I need to update my firmware on my flight controller. So we're gonna be clicking on the update firmware option once we press update firmware, we're going to be selecting DFU mode. From here, we're going to be selecting update firmware and then selecting the latest update. We're going to press 1.2 for the revolt. Press confirm and let it do its thing. Once it's done, we're going to press continue and select our receiver to run as receiver. Scroll down and press next. We're going to scroll down and press next again. We're going to select our VTX, in my case, the Unify. I'm going to select it, scroll down and press next. We're going to scroll down and press next again. And we're going to select our ESC, which is the Bolt 32. I'm just going to select next. And then I'm going to select no in reverse props. 
All right, next we're gonna press done and we're gonna be selecting the wizard number two, which is detect receiver. We're gonna move our, our radio 10 feet away and then we're gonna press next. We're gonna press next, it's gonna scan for your receiver and once it finds it, all you have to do is press done and we're gonna get to the next wizard, which is wizard three, which is setup radio. Hit next and all we're gonna be doing is following directions. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Just uh, continue with the steps, press next and you'll be done in no time. That's it, you're done. That fast, that simple. How to connect your Slim Plus to your Revolt OSD. Peace out.